Okay, so here, the little red circle on the map is Piper running for her life away from the ruffians that were chasing her. Okay, so um, there were five of them, two with crossbows, two with swords and shields, and one with a heavy mace. And they were closing in on you. Um, so we need a another dexterity check for you, please. So you're making d20 plus your dex, modi uh, dex modifier. And let's see if you can put some distance between you and these thugs or if they can close Crit. the gap. Whoa, I mean, what the hell 20. just happened? What? 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 Okay, I rolled and my whole screen went black and it says click and drag to roll the dice. What? What? Do it. Uh, hang on. It's a Let thing now? Oh Slash my god. god. I knew it. Well, that'll Called work. It. Let me just... Called it. See, okay, there must hacking. be a new Mine didn't do that. But There's a in new feature case... in Roll20, apparently. And yeah, you get to manually Natural roll the dice. Roll 20! <laughs> So awesome! So you get to like fling it in the direction you want. Oh, wow, that's well, that's awesome. interesting. Considering on the d on the blog, that was one of my gripes about Roll Twenty is you didn't have the feeling of rolling the Maybe dice. Maybe they fucking read your blog. They man. probably did. They probably did. <laughs> they do all the time. Clearly. <laughs> okay, um, but it, it won't go away though. Have you noticed? It's um, still maybe there. do I have to click it? I think if I click it, it goes away. I just clicked it and it disappeared. So not on my screen. It didn't. Try clicking. I have. It's still there. There we go. Now it disappeared. <laughs> Weird. No idea what's Interesting. going on. Yeah, it didn't ask me to do that. Let me just do a demo test. Oh yeah, I hacked the dice roller. Aw, okay. Clearly. Oh no, it did. Click and drag. That's gonna suck, you know that? Cause... You can turn it off. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> oh yeah, Jesus. Because uh, it goes blank on my screen every damn time. It's yes, like I've heard of a bad roll. Alright, <laughs> so first of all, bear with me just a second. I'm gonna turn off that junk. Uh, where can you turn it off? Let's see. Uh, automatically roll 3D dice. Da, 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 da. Yeah, automatically roll 3D dice. That's what you want. Enable advanced dice, dice icons, drag and drop, etc. Uncheck that. Hang on. I think it's enable automatic dice rolling. That's what you want. Yeah, there we go. Problem solved. Aha! Anyways, back to my natural 20. But they still loiter around a lot longer than they used to. Well, that's good, because sometimes you don't see them, and that's, like, really yeah, annoying. It is, unless it's <laughs> sitting, like, now on my damn screen for blocking crap for a... <laughs> Why clear... won't you go home, Dice? Go home! Are you too good for your home, Dice? Go in the Answer cockpit. me! Animals. I don't Guys, watch it go, go in the window, the cock thingy, and uncheck Enable Advanced Dice, Dice Icons, Drag and Drop, etc. Yeah, but we want the Dice Icons. But it's the Drag and Drop, etc. Yeah, we'll see. Because it's <laughs> still, my Dice is still on my screen. It won't go. Um, let's I try again. Dun, 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 now it might. Let's see. I love the yeah. Dice roll sound now. Aria is inspiring peace. See, look at that. That's just going to sit there now, obnoxiously. <laughs> there. Oh. I'm gonna have to manually go and click on every damn dice. This is not good. I don't like. Hold I don't on, like hold this on. roll twenty. One d eight. There was nothing wrong with it before. Okay. Damn yeah. you, roll twenty. I literally do. I have to click on them. They're, they're, we we need a, we need an option to decide to dis, to type in how long they stay for. Yeah. Make it a thing. Yeah, roll go. twenty. Do it. Wow, that is really obnoxious. I know, right? <laughs> For me it is, because I'm gonna have to literally click on every every dice to get rid of it. God help us with it with Aria. I mean with uh Kieliana. Yeah. Oh jeez. Click, 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 click. And oh, we, have a we have a resub. One resub, thank you. A mystery resub. resub. Mystery. Yeah, I guess it's it's slow. Alright, well, to hell with that. We're not gonna worry about that. Let's go on with the game. <laughs> okay, so um she rolled the twenty, dude. Yep, so let me scroll back up and see what the total was. Twenty two. All right, this time without the stumbling, you managed to put a good bit of distance between you and your adversaries. Getting to here. Okay, so there's a, a good distance between you. Okay, so you're approaching the tavern. Uh, is that your intent to run in the tavern? Or... Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Right, those have to reload. So when you get to the tavern, the final two will shoot their crossbows at you before you run in. Pachoo. Okay, both crossbow bolts fly through the air and miss you. Disappearing somewhere in the street. Okay, so you charge into the Burke's Hall Inn. 
Oh, this is gonna be funny. Ready? Being <laughs> your underpants. There you are. Nope, but I I am gonna be on the counter, and I'm gonna have my I'm gonna be facing the well I'm gonna be facing the group of people here, and I'm gonna have a berry in my hand torn in half. <gasps> <laughs> I thought you were going to say you're singing a song about a goblin. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right. So I am going to come bursting through the door. Yep. Panting. <sighs> yes. And immediately I'm going to go like this. You! And I'm going to point at the innkeeper. And okay. I'm going to say, you set me up. Did you know about this? Thieves! Know about what? I've been attacked by the people that were sitting here in this table what that you what? know. You knew they were out there. You sent me to the Kajik, the, thank the you for resubscribing. I know no such you. thing. I mean, Piper. there's a curfew in place for a reason. I was just talking about Brother Abacus and... Besser, I'm being attacked by five what? men. The berries, man. You, put, you can make a brew with berries. I That's was talking about the attacked. pie. Attack, dying, Ow. death. What? Impossible. <laughs> well, you're fine. You're right here. Well, hey, look, man. Uh, uh, the bite, the pie. We put the berries in the pie. We sell the pie. Can I walk up to him? Of course you can. As he's <laughs> mumbling, I'm just gonna give him a cross the face. Well, I'm on. The, I'm standing. You gotta reach me. I'm standing on the counter. She's tall. <laughs> I oh. when I want to make sure too that I am talking so loud that hopefully everybody's going to hear me as in Aria. <laughs> um, can, can she reach me? Like, legit, I'm standing on the counter. I mean, if you're standing if you're standing up and she makes no... If she doesn't do anything to kind of get you to duck down, then she's not going to be able to slap you in the face, right. but she can punch you in the chest if she wants to. Or maybe somewhere worse. Oh. Oh. Well. Thanks. Just saying. Yeah, for, <laughs> Just like, saying. It's an option. Right. Um, let me see. Aria, you want to make a listen check? Sure thing. <laughs> uh, let's see. What my listen is three. Okay. Ten. I will keep eating the nuts. Okay, ten. You are totally, thoroughly relaxed and like drifting off in your okay. hot bath, so you're really <laughs> not hearing. Viper, sit down. Well, sit down. Oh, you're short. Um, are, am I being pursued anymore? Um, no one has followed you through the door, no. Okay. So I'm going to calm down a little bit, because they should have been through the door. And <laughs> wanting to slap Vesslar, but realizing I can't reach him. I didn't point, do anything wrong. Jesus. I know, but you need to pay attention. Things are happening. <laughs> um, so uh, hey, I'm just going drunky. to immediately walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, I'm going to come around here. All right. It don't turn so fast. It's a balancing act, you know? Hey, <laughs> Brother Abacus. Or, or, or Aramis. Or... Okay, so I'm going to uh, obviously wave the innkeeper over to me. Okay, he kind of like gingerly comes over to here and leans in your direction, being sure to le make sure that the bar is... Firmly between him and you. Perfect. I'm going to say to him, Did you or did you not know that those guys are thugs? I don't even know who you're referring to, ma'am, to be honest. I told you when I came in that ones that were sitting in this chair who said they were out after curfew and you knew them by name. Oh, the two that were over there? Well... I don't know them as thugs, I know them as patrons, but as I said, this has been a rough old place the last few days. It is entirely possible that some of them may be a little bit touched in the head due to the the unpleasantness of the water. Honestly, I, honestly I don't know, but I, I sincerely do apologize. If I'd have known such a thing Five. was going to happen, I would have for sure warned you. Well, this guy, this guy right here, you one of them? Because I get kicked a perfect, um, like, height. Uh, no, uh, I haven't left the inn all night. I certainly wasn't one of them. That's true. You were here earlier with me. Are you the one who wanted my, my, my bottle? <clears throat> oh, um, no, no. That's I, our I'm, shut up. I'm quite all right. I think that was that uh, fellow I over there. Realize. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> you greedy bastard. And I'm just gonna look at continue. I'm staring down the innkeeper as well, and I'm just gonna say. I mean, he's looking I mighty uncomfortable, out. but. If I find out any different, you are gonna be sorry you ever sent me out there in the dark against that. Well, uh, I'm just gonna turn in, on my heel. Ma'am, in my defense, I actually suggested that you all left over two hours ago. Turn it on my heel and halfway up the stairs. <laughs> there is okay. a curfew, babe, Piper. Sorry. <laughs> he look. Uh, he turns and looks to you at Vestlor. He says, "Is it my fault that y'all spent hours drinking and eating in the inn and taking baths before you followed my advice and went to see the Lord? If you'd have gone when I suggested, maybe that wouldn't have happened." Hey, do you, I ain't have. Oh, dear, bath. oh dear. The things an I... innkeeper has to be responsible for these days. Well, you be perving on my friends, you know. It's I get a bath. Perving my bath. I, I'm still smelly, man. Be fighting shit out there, you won't believe. Well, uh, <laughs> you appear to have had quite enough this evening, sir. Why don't you retire well, you to your room? You gave it to me. If you, we'll... didn't give me if you didn't give me booze, I wouldn't be here and we'd be fine. Well, that's this is a tavern. If you ask for it, oh, I'm going to serve use. you. Where did you get the little one to sing? And you haven't told me about Brother Abacus. Brother Abacus. Yeah, it's a guy we got to find. He tainted the river. Name Abacus. I Brother have no Abacus. idea what you're talking about, sir. It was, it was in the journal. Okay, I'm actually going to be reaching for my backpack, so I'm probably going to fall off the table. <laughs> Just letting you know. Go ahead and make Cause... a dexterity check. We'll, see, right. we'll, we'll have a balance I, roll on I, that. I, or actually, you can make a balance check with your balance, balance skill. Deck. With my balance skill. Oh, that's not any better. Yeah, All I'm going right. to give you a minus four for the level of inebriation that you are. All right, so just subtract four from your total. Four. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Oh, um, no, amazingly, you kind of spin around on one foot and wobble, but you somehow manage to... <laughs> so I'm teetering on the edge while I just cracked the I'm going to leave that there and see how long it takes to go away. <laughs> oh, mine went away right away. Mine is staying there. I think you have to man manually click it. Well, I'm... I'm... I know if I manually click it, it will go away. I was hoping that after, like, so many seconds it would go, but... There, get out of there. I don't like so I'm going to take on my <laughs> journal and I'm going to show the journal. The bad man, brother Abacus. Um, I'm awfully sorry, sir. I never learned to do words. <laughs> what? I'm a humble innkeeper. I'm I'm not a literate man. Who who wrote the sign on your the front? Oh well, uh, local blacksmith. And he could read. I. Are you friends with him? Well, uh, I don't know about friends. <laughs> what if he wrote, like, pig shit on there? You wouldn't know. <laughs> I mean, that's not really... Well, awesome. I mean, I, under I, I know enough people around here to come in and, um, you know... Uh, all right, well, and besides, that's been there for many a year. Where is the bathtub? I need the bath. Um, whether... I'll have to, I'll have, to have it brought to your room, sir. Uh, is, it, is it in my friend's room? Still? Because they were first... Um, I believe it's in the uh, the younger of the two ladies' room right now. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm going to step on the stool to step off. Might have to do another balance, maybe. Um, you can probably fall off without without injury. <laughs> I'm going to fall off, and I'm going to get up, and I'm just going to stagger to the stairs. <laughs> Okie dokie, up the stairs you stagger. And I'm gonna go to um, Arya's and Piper's room, because I guess they're in the same room, right? Yep. Yep. Alrighty then. Okay. Is the door open? I'm sure it is not. Arya no, I would have gone stopping. Arya up is fast asleep, by the way, on her bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting woke up. What? Hey, Piper. Uh, is the bath water like marginally okay? Uh, I'm having a bath. Go to bed, Slim. You. What? Hi. You're still closed. I just got in after I was attacked by five well, people that you, you don't care about. What are you talking about, five people? What? You you never left the bar. Yeah, I, I, I saw you. I saw you in the corner when I was mentioning the berries. You guys you are so loud. 
Alright, shut, shut up. Go sleep. Okay. Look, what what are you talking about, people? Who's attacking you? Well, everybody make a listen check and see if you can roll a 20 or a higher on your listen oh, roll. That's not happening. Nope. That's not happening. Nope. Oh, uh, Piper 20. Got 20. Okay. Holy shit. Piper. You overhear a very faint voice downstairs. You hear the innkeeper say, From what I understand that you were causing some trouble out on the streets. I don't want any trouble here in my inn. You best get out of here. And you hear a voice say, Fine, fine. I, I was just checking. Go on, be gone with you. Are, are the windows in our room facing the front of the inn? Um, they are not. They are facing the left side of the inn. Um, but, if they happen to, if you look at Burkamp, let me bring the town back up for you. So, here's the inn. Your your rooms are about here. Okay. So, uh, Which they will probably if have they to go back, back in that yeah. direction, you will see them. So, um, I'm going to hear this. I'm going to say, shh, shh. Ari. Ari, I need you. Hmm. I need you. Come, quick. I'm going to run to the window. All right, I need you. Uh, okay. I stand up. What? What? Is it best? Okay. Quick. Walk to the window and look out. What? I was attacked by five people and they might walk by. I need you to help me see. Attacked? Yes. By who? They should, if they walk by, they're going to walk right by here. Okay. <clears throat> Stare at the window. <laughs> while while that happens, I'm gonna go to the bathtub and dunk my head in. <laughs> so my hat's gonna be floating in the bathwater. Okay. And I'm Fall asleep and drown. <laughs> Serves you right. <laughs> yep, just splash in my face. Alrighty. Okay. So, so we are watching diligently. Alright, well you do notice one fellow walking backwards down the street. He's like Pathways. moving along the side of the building. Very Pathways. quiet and gingerly. Do you want me to shoot an arrow from here? Ooh. Yeah, do it. Uh, I'll probably miss, but I'll try. <laughs> it's just like throwing water balloons off. <laughs> uh, can you get the window open while I get my bow? Yeah. All right, I'm going to make a listen check for him because the windows are fairly loud. <laughs> Damn it. Um, doesn't seem to have noticed. Okay, I'm going to bring my arrow back and stare. Point it at general direction. <laughs> okay, you <laughs> loose the <laughs> arrow into the darkness. Um, however, he was aware that the arrow came clashing by him as he spins around and kind oh, of glances and looks. Yeah, duck. <laughs> okay. You're like a bunch of bad children throwing stones right. at people. <laughs> okay, he kind of stops and glares in that general direction, but when he can't see anybody, he instead quickly moves around and disappears behind the side of the building. Uh, fully clothed, Bestlar sliding into the bathtub. <laughs> Splosh. Sorry, Book and all. I'm still tired. <laughs> Hand over the bathtub while, you know, just like. <laughs> Drunk. Just gotta love him. Okay, so yeah, you have a drunken Vesslar in your bathtub, um, <laughs> snoring loudly. Nope. <laughs> is it Vesslar or is it Radovan? I don't know. <laughs> it's one of both of them. It's Radolar. <laughs> Okay, so what else do you guys want to do this evening? Uh, well, um, that's a thing happening. Night Rock, take care, man. <sighs> um, Ari, do you just want to move to the other room with me and we'll just leave? Switch no. rooms? <laughs> no, I'm going to walk up to Vessler and like tap him on the shoulder so he wakes up. <laughs> and I'm going to do a suggestion. I'm gonna tell once he is awake, slap him a bit. Fess! Fess! Wake up! You're gonna drown! Fess! Abacus. Abacus. 
It doesn't really look like he's in a whole lot of chance of drowning. Just the, ba water the, the bathtub itself is entirely too small for him. His head is kind of like leaning okay. back over the back of the tub. I'm gonna take a nearby bucket, fill it with water, and just pour it on his head. <laughs> uh, yeah, that that'll probably get his attention to wake him up. Uh, <laughs> nose water, me. <laughs> Yes. Delicious nose water. Oh, it stings. Why does it sting? I need yes. to heal. I need to heal. I suggest uh, that you go to sleep in your own room right now. I, I have to put my backpack on this nightstand and it is mine. Is, okay, help me back there and heal me too because my nose is stinging. I need to sneeze. Good night. <laughs> it's so I don't care oh, about you, hell, you drunken man. bum. It's your own fault. <laughs> so I'm gonna stagger out, dripping, sopping everywhere. Yeah, literally like, dripping water hat, all yeah. the way across the floor, down the hallway, and into his own room. Yeah, but mm -hmm. my hat's staying in the bathtub. <laughs> Just or, floating. Or <laughs> I like that image. Yep. Right? <laughs> and I'm gonna go visual. into my room, <laughs> fall on my bed, probably miss my bed, and land on the floor. I'm probably sleeping on the floor tonight. Let's <laughs> be real. Okay. Okay, okay. All right. So you all pretty much you're gonna just rest up for the night, huh? Um, I'm gonna ask Arya to attend to my wounds from getting um, hit. From getting shot at. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. How bad are you hurt? Uh, twenty. Wow. Here, here's a, here's a moderate for you. For fifteen. There you go. You feel a lot better, and you'll get one back by the morning as well. So. Night, night. You'll only be down four tomorrow. Alrighty, you all rest up um, and wake up bright and early. Nope. Veslar, on the other hand, probably you don't wake up that bright and early, and you definitely don't break up bright. Um, you probably have an annoying headache. Yep. And the birds are chirping and singing and all kinds of stuff, which is really annoying. For Veslar. <laughs> yep. Um, so when we make our way down for breakfast, I'd like to talk to the innkeeper again. Alrighty. Alright, let me just move a few things around here. Alrighty, so here you are coming downstairs. Are you going down as well, Piper? Or, I mean, Arya? Uh, sure. Alright. And Veslar's sleeping it off. Okay, got him. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go up to the bar. Oh, uh, hello, ma'am. I, I trust you slept well. I did, thank you. Um, um some breakfast, please. Oh, uh, absolutely. Also, uh, I believe one of them ruffians came in here looking for you last night. He did, I actually overheard. Ah, um, well, uh, I to know his name. I do. His name is Dorian. Dorian Samchik. Dorian Gray. No, not Gray. Is he a permanent resident of this town? Aye. Really? Used and you to, said you've always known Used to be a uh, mead always, well, always been a tailor. Local village tailor. Although he's had his shop closed for the last three or four days. Hmm. Been in here drinking it up pursue? a lot, though. Pissing Why away his profits. Why would he pursue my sister? Oh, sorry? Why would he pursue my sister? I can't hear you all the way over there from the stairs. You'll have to come closer. <laughs> oh. What? Why would he chase my sister, sir? I have no idea, ma'am. I honestly don't know. Money? Does he have children? And I, no job? I, I couldn't... I could, honestly, I couldn't fathom why I would be Taylor would suddenly take up with a bunch of ruffians and try to accost such a um, capable looking um, young lady where does he live no oh, on the other on the other side of the river which house um, well if you cross over the first bridge the one to the right um, I think he lives in one of those two shacks that's just on the opposite side of the road, or across the across the the uh, estuary there, or at least he did anyway. 
Hmm. Okay. I think I will actually speak to the Lord about this as well. I would. If, in all honesty, I would recommend that you make your way to them um, post haste. Yes. Um, all right. Well, then perhaps breakfast when I get back. Um, Ari, would you come with me? Sure. What about Bess? Uh, he's drunk. Still, I'm sure. Way to go. Okay. Do you think we should bring him? Well, we. Maybe he's sober enough by now. I. He helps a lot. All right, well, let's go check then. Okay. Alrighty. So you're gonna go now back I get to up. return the favor. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he's probably oh. feeling a little bit worse for wear, but for the most part, he's no longer drunk. He's just a little hungover. What? What? Open the door! Ah! Don't, don't lower your voice! Where's my hat? Ah! I'm gonna open the door. Is the sun Very coming in this space. hallway? Space. Yeah! I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up. See. What? Alrighty. We have stuff that's, you know, serious that needs to be taken care of right now. Are you able to come with us? Sure, give me bread or something. All right, uh, I'm gonna go retrieve his hat for him and the uh, <laughs> bathtub, wet hat and sucks. it's and I'm gonna put it firmly on his head. Here you go. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm your, gonna let that hat. Your in. clothes are definitely damp, of course. Oh, thanks. Yes, you, you stink. No, I smell great. I was too... no, you don't. <laughs> You've been sweating, sweating the alcohol out of your paws all night. Oh. Fuck, not my fault. You know, it's not my fault. Let's, let's go. Um, okay, so we'll stop by the bar, grab him some bread, and then head out and kind of tell him what's going on. Alright, so you guys are heading... Let's put you on the day map. Alrighty. It's so pretty. Yeah, it looks a little different during the day, huh? does. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you're heading back the way you came before? Yeah. Alright, heading down Probably the street. Probably paying some pretty good attention to <laughs> the street folk. Alright. Uh, and the, lore or lack there thereof. are a few people out on the streets, but very few. Um, you know, for the most part, for a town this size, it's it doesn't seem to have a lot of activity. Okay, you get to the you know, the estuary in question, and there is a wooden bridge. Um, probably just about wide enough to take a cart across. Ugh. Diligently. Alrighty. Best when we get there, I suggest you don't talk very much. <laughs> ah. Sure. Don't lose Whatever. your temper, either. Actually, if you guys don't mind, I, I would suggest that neither of you talk unless called upon. Wait, what? I the she looks gee, okay. He still sounds drunk. <laughs> Talk about losing losing, you know, tempers. Alrighty. <laughs> Just normal Vessler speak. So you over cross speak. over and come to the large building on the opposite side. Um What's up, Boo Bots? So I'm gonna say kinda look at them both reinforcing the don't speak unless spoken to kind of thing. You and want to switch eyeballs? <laughs> switch eyeballs? <laughs> um, I'm going to go to the door and... Bang on it? Yeah. Politely, Alrighty. Politely bang on the door. <laughs> After only about 15 seconds, the door opens ajar um, and the face of a middle-aged man with brown hair and a moustache greets you like... Who calls? My name is Piper Canto. I am here to seek audience with the Lord Pharaoh. Or, I mean, Lord Aaron, sorry. <laughs> um, I shall inform Lord Aaron of your presence. He begins to close the door, and then as he kind of glances at the three of you, he says, Um, well, perhaps you better come in. Lord Aaron may not be pleased if he should uh, find out I allowed such a pleasant young lady and... Uh, your sister, I presume, by the looks? 
to stay outside on the doorstep. Uh, come in. Oh, he didn't notice me? <laughs> he may have noticed you, but he didn't reference you. <laughs> well, thank yeah. you. Alrighty. Here you are. Alrighty. Well, the door opens wide and he beckons you in to enter. The entry hall is, a sim is very simple, with coat racks on either side of the door, an ornate rug upon the floor, and two elegant-looking chairs. There is also a large, ornate vase in the top left corner. A doorway is situated upon each wall, and the well-dressed servant um, opens the door to the right, right over here, and says, I'll be back momentarily. I apologize that um, there are only two chairs. Oh. <clears throat> and he passes um, I want to note that Piper's through the door and closes it solidly I behind him. Kind of on high alert. She's doesn't know who to trust at this point. So any face that she comes across, she's going to be looking to see if she recognizes it from the night prior. Alrighty. Uh, everybody make a listening check, please. Yeah! Yay. That's far! <laughs> oh, Probably distracted one. by Arya sitting on you. It's okay. No, I wouldn't let you sit on me. I, I have my head in my hands, my on my uh, elbows on my knees. Well, it's she's the there. You didn't say anything. Well, Veslar, you still yeah. have that annoying ringing in your ears, apparently, yep. from the night before. <laughs> yep. So you don't hear squat, but both um, Arya and Piper hear conversation from the other side of the door. You hear? No, Drew. I believe we're about to have guests. I suggest you make sure there is something on hand for breakfast, should his lordship invite them to stay. And then you hear another door open and close. So, Piper, what? are you okay? Well, I am now. Well, I ask only because you were being weird yesterday. I got attacked by five people oh, alone. You were, you were you were alone on your own. You were weird before that. <laughs> Huh, okay. I've never seen you move that fast to saddle the horses and stuff. Like, come on. <sighs> you I hear footsteps coming, um, approaching the door to the north. It opens. And once again, the well-dressed servant steps through. <sighs> Lord Aaron will see you in his living quarters. Uh, please follow me. Step this way. Yes, sir. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, basically, he leads you forward. Oh, oh hey! What? Snow Wolf X, thank oh. you for subscribing! Oh. What's up, Snow? Welcome! Hey, Snow! What's up, dude? Thank you for subscribing! Awesome, Parsi! Well done, dude. Thank you for becoming a new reroller. Welcome! Welcome, welcome. About Bit. bloody time! <laughs> I know him. <laughs> oh, you know him? I know oh. him, IRL. <laughs> oh. Alrighty. <laughs> Nice. So yes, he uh, opens the door and leads you in. The room is a large dining room with a magnificent table with the capacity to seat a dozen people. A door sits on the far top left and two are visible to the right, one at each end. Walking around the dining table, he approaches the topmost door. He stands eagerly, kind of tapping his foot, watching you all. Um, where are you going? Apologize. This way, ma'am. I'm sorry. <laughs> Once he is assured that all of you are directly where he is, he politely Weird. taps on the door and you hear, Come in. And with that, the servant opens the door and allows you entry into the room. Let's go ahead and make that possible. Okay, there you go. 
Why don't you stand there as if you've got... Um, if you're standing at the gates of hell, come in and warm yourselves by the fire. The servant closes the door behind you and one that you can hear him walking off. Right, the Lord himself, basically, as you enter the room, um, he motions towards the shelving behind him, which you can see, is lined with bottles of wine and strange beverages. May I offer you some refreshment? I know it's a bit early, but it was never too early for me. Ugh. Oh. Water will be fine for me, sir. Or Lord. I... My Lord. Water. I'm going to curtsy without saying anything, because Piper said not to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> As, as for her as well, please. And my friend. Three glasses of water. Fine, fine. Whatever takes your fancy, I suppose. Um, basically, looking around the room, um, you can see the floor of the room is covered by a thick blue carpet and is rather warm to the touch. The large fireplace in the room is ablaze and a lady sits on a soft chair just inside the doorway. There are two chairs and a small table that sits between them, in front of the fire, where the Lord is sitting. Behind him against the wall, as you've already noticed, are shelves amassed and aligned uh, with bottles of various different wines and fine spirits. There's a sturdy table with four chairs needed, um, neatly positioned underneath them in the far top right corner. Well, what do you want? Okay, immediately, can I do a sense motive on him, like, see if I can get a vibe for him? Um, you can. Yeah. Just want to see what kind of impression I get on him. Oh. Honestly, you don't have much to go on at all. Okay. Um, so I'm going to be kind of acting different than Arya and Bessler have really seen me. I'm going to be very rigid, very soldier-like, very like, military, right? And I'm going to look him and say, Hail, Lord Aaron. My name is Piper Canto, and I come to you as a visitor to this town with my sister Arya and my friend Beslar. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Uh, and I assume that this is the lady, Aaron? It is. Pleasure. Okay, just she's just nice. like, very slightly like... Very mild, sort of. Uh, it's an acknowledging, it's an ex an acknowledging smile, but it's so very slight. We come to you with both information and trouble. Trouble, ha! <laughs> like I need more trouble. Indeed, sir. Well, what information do you come with? Are you an envoy? Did somebody send you? We were traveling this way, and we come have, we came to learn of a. Uh, a problem with the water. Upon arriving at your town, we realized that you were already informed of this. Uh, so maybe not so much news. But we would like to converse with you regarding that, as we will be heading on further north. Hmm. Yes. Further north indeed. Well, uh, converse away. What do you want to say? Perhaps we could t t continue on that subject shortly. Um, I'd also like to address another issue. Which is? Upon arriving in your town, I was encouraged by the local innkeeper to come and speak with you about this issue. When did you with arrive? La last evening. Okay. Uh, I was also informed there was a night curfew. There is indeed. And I was further encouraged that it was very important to speak with you. So, did come and try and speak with you last night. However, I was met by five of your local... Uh, inhabitants, and hmm. they tried to rob me. And this is why we established the night curfew. Yes. Um, I do know the name of one of them. If you'd like to know, I will happily disclose. I do also know that you have no militia. Oh, we have militia. Just half of them are probably the people that accosted you last night. Indeed. And this is acceptable in your town? Absolutely not. Of course it's not acceptable. But unfortunately, this town is, well, quite frankly, become a den of lunatics, psychopaths, and malignant psychotic folk. There are very few sane people left in the town, me being one of them. And being only one man with no other men at my disposal, 
I'm not really in much of a position to do anything about it, other than to advise people of actions that would lead to the most safe... You know, the most safety, I suppose. Trust me, if I had my way, I'd hang every bloody one of them. Unfortunately, I don't really think it's their fault. Do you think it has something to do with the water? I know it has something to do with the water. Well, perhaps we can be of service to you then. Or maybe you can. What do you suggest? We seek to rid the world of the unnatural. Seems like a fair course of action to me. As it were. Um, So, it would be especially helpful if we had your blessing. And we would be more than willing to help you rid your town of this taint. Um, well... What sort of thing do you need from me? We need to know that we are allowed, and we will not be, um... You're allowed to do so. I mean, allowed to do what? To rid the town of the taint, sir. The taint as in the problem in the water? The tainted people. No, absolutely not. Not going to allow three people that I know nothing about to just walk around acting like they're God's gift to law? I'm the lord of this town. Like it or not, these people are my responsibility. And that's why I said we wouldn't do anything without your permission, sir. Well, uh, and I appreciate that, but nope. Um, Find a way to cure them, by all means. But I will not condone the rampant running around and butchery of these folk. They were all good, innocent folk only a week or so ago. Uh, But they aren't what they were. No, they're not. So hopefully we can find a way to cure them. Arya, what are you doing? <laughs> sitting me, down in the corner sitting. by the looks of it. Just sitting. You told me not We're going to gonna take a quick break here, by the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our first break, it's 8.30. Um, so we are going to just take a moment. Uh, we'll only be a few minutes.